Hi guys, welcome to the system. <coughs> the topic of this video is what do I do after installing our new ISOs, Arconet, Arco Pro and Arco Plasma. Well, in this case, I type Velo W, which means I install more packages. These are my packages. It's my little shortcut for applications like Sublime Text, Thunar, and OBS Studio and VLC. What I also do is update, of course. After clean installation, you do an update, meaning Pacman finds a databases and you know what to install then. What else? Well, we've added a few things and it's all starting with remove. Since we have now two kernels on the ISO, in this case, this is the ISO. That's minus. <laughs> Where is plus? 30 again. Ah, yeah, that's the one. Ah, minus better. No, yeah, better. Okay. So now you can read it. Arconet. And we have two kernels. What if I want to do, let's say, the Linux kernel? has been working for us for the last six years. So let's clean this out. That is clean and clear. Clean provides spark lines and clear is this one. So why do we use clean? If you have a terminal with 5,000 lines and it's, you can scroll up and scroll up, then you want to scroll up till the first spark lines. Right? Then you know, okay, this is from previous output. What we can do, what I will do, is this is the first thing I do. I remove Broadcom and I remove Realtek driver, which is the network card. If you don't have it, there's no sense in keeping it. It will make your make any CPIO updates longer. And I don't like that. Okay. I don't have the hardware. The hardware is there for you guys. So you can boot up with Broadcom and Realtek. You see, it's going to the motions of building the make init CPO. So the slash boot folder, that's where it's writing at this particular moment in time. And then of course there are two kernels and there are options. Thank God there are options. As usual, Eric likes a little script. Remove all kernels, but Linux. Remove all kernels but the Linux KOS or catchy OS, sorry. <laughs> Removal kernels, but Linux LTS. In this case, we have the Zen kernel. So we need to decide, are we gonna keep the Zen kernel and remove the Linux kernel or vice versa, All right? We've done the Broadcom real tech already. The debug is for the guys who built packages from the AOR. If you don't type debug, you'll get two lines two packages one that's called i don't know package and the other one is package dash debug and you will be asked to install them both and you don't need one from debug so if you install that that's great what else can we do we have to make a decision zen or linux one of them needs to go or none of them up to you right but let's say the zen needs to go then it says script to remove all the kernels let's make this a little bit bigger voila use the arclix of course uh, the kernels that we know of if you start making one of the hundred kernels that are available right then of course we don't know the name and we can't remove it but the linux zen and the linux zen headers they will stay there right the script will remove all the kernels but the Linux Zen and Linux Zen headers. So we're gonna keep that one. That's good. That means Linux headers is out. And Linux is out. And if you make a package now, if you, sorry, if you make this thing, minus P, then you can take time the build. It will take less time there is just the, the one kernel there are no dkms 
besides NVIDIA, but no Realtek, no Broadcom. So the installation, as you see, is faster. So that's the, yeah, that's all I do. Besides, of course, later on, I'm going to get Nemesis and Alkalex because this ISO that was provided was not suitable for me personally. <laughs> Just joking. But no, not really, because in the end, anything that is delivered from another user, it's not your choices. And here are my choices, right? And these are my current choices. So I'll make something like this. Script starts, start copy pasting and start doing this. So he's installing Velo and Velo W and maybe I should type the password better. And he's gonna do anything that I want him to do. And there is a reasoning in there. If you're on Osh, if you're on Arco, if you're on Endeavor OS, if you're on Garuda, if you are, uh, do you want chat WM? I mean, everything. All the reasonings, everything that I could want is going to be installed with all the personal settings. Maybe, maybe you have also a cursor, a course air, um, keyboard with all these lights, these, these, these rainbow kind of things. Well, that's the application that sets the colors and stuff like that. It's all in here. All right. So those are the things I'd like to do afterwards and let the thing run. You go sit and watch some uh, movie or video, whatever, and you come back and everything is installed. And that's the way to go forward. There is, of course, I know, of course, that there is something called Sophie M. Right. Sophie M is now going to be promoted a little bit more. It's on all the ISOs. Sophie M, Arch Linux, T Tweak Tool, these things are the ones we like. And he is smart, right? He knows, hey, I can't do anything because you are using Pac-Man. I want to use Pac-Man as well. It says, no, Pac-Man cannot lock the DB. A lock file has been in, found, etc. Is there another Pac-Man process running? Ah, uh, I think so, All right? So we'll have to wait, simple as that. But okay, as long as you know, software M, software, installer, remover. If you forgot something in Calamaris, this is basically the Calamaris. Afterwards, software M. All right, those are the things I do after a clean install these days. Cheers.